what's up guys welcome back thank you guys for watching another video today we're going to be going to twisted metalworks right here in ontario california he's going to be uh helping us install the rotora big brake on this truck on the gilroy truck well he's not gonna be helping us he's gonna be doing it because um i don't think i'm gonna i'm gonna do anything so he's gonna be doing that for us today all right guys so we're gonna leave the truck right here at twisted metalworks he's gonna be doing the brake kit uh we did run into a little bit of problems uh, i don't think it's gonna fit the back we don't think it's gonna fit in here so he's gonna have to do some work he said he might have to lift it a little bit so which i think is good it's really low in the back so a couple inches up won't make much of a difference but the big brakes are gonna look really good they're gonna stand out once the wheels are polished which we should be getting to next week the wheels are gonna stand out the big brakes are gonna stand out even more all right so we just took the bed off we we're supposed to do just brakes on this thing but from the looks of it they're not gonna clear being that still on these springs the caliper has to be relocated on top which customer does not want so we're gonna set it back to where it needs to be we're gonna ditch the leaf springs ditch the leaf springs completely um we do a lot of these brackets clean everything up on new brake lines possibly uh more than likely we're gonna redo this notch just leave everything centered freshened up that way it's safe for the lucky new winner of this truck we're gonna get rid of this cross runner back here put a brand new one um yeah full Full uh, rebuild back here, pretty much to ensure safety of it, and also gonna help with traction and ride quality. So stay tuned. All right. Next up on the truck around giveaway truck, we're gonna be. Swapping out all the disc brakes front and rear, upgrading them. The front to eight piston, and the rear six. Some brand new Rotoras. All right, guys. So we are on our way to pick up the giveaway truck. Um, it's been a week ever since we dropped it off. We're gonna do the big brake kit, and um, more work came out. We had to do a little bit more stuff to it to make the big big brake fit and make the trucks uh, be a little more safe because um, whoever did the drop before did a simple drop so we did a little bit more to it right now uh, more than we expected for sure but uh, it's done I'm gonna pick it up right now I'll show you guys how it looks and what we did to it all right we just pulled up right here twist the middle works we're gonna check out the truck right now and take it home final, final. Let's go. Ready? Okay, let's go. Um, Pupusa Kingpin giveaway truck, take 37. Take 69. Okay. Take 69. Yes. Remember that code 69? <laughs> I don't get it. Why is it code 69? <laughs> code 69. Yeah. Pupusa Kingpin, final, finish, done. It's not that easy, huh, Eddie? Stupido! All right, one, two, three. Ya estás grabando? Pupusa Kingpin, giveaway truck, take 69. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just got here. Uh, we're gonna put the bed back on right now. But before we get to the bed, I'm gonna have Raul from Twisted Metal Work tell you guys what he did and how it was before. We're gonna be dropping some videos at the end of the, of the video, some clips of how it looked before. So you guys can see how it looked before and how it looks now. So Raul, you wanna tell us what, what you did to it? So when this truck came in, we took the bed off. They originally came in just to install the big brake kit. We took it off, we, we showed Danny what was wrong with it. Um, first off, uh, they had some huge blocks to lower it, which uh, we're not a fan of. It was on these strings still. The notch was broken in a couple pieces. 
and it was just not all there. Um, so talking to Danny, he decided to just make this thing safe as it's a giveaway truck. Ultimately, he wants the customer, whoever wins it, to be safe, no issues. So we start off two right here. Back here, it had been notched. I don't know why it was missing about a foot. We, we redid that piece, got that cross member back on. We got rid of the leaf springs. We installed one of our foiling kits with the Viking dual adjustable coilovers. Um, we installed the Rotora brakes, four piston in the rear and eight piston in the front. We dropped the gas tank. We sprayed the whole frame, cleaned everything up. We redid the mount for the leave out canister, cleaned up all the lines. Um, we made all new brake lines as those were all tangled and broken as well. We remade them all the way to the ABS and just pretty much cleaned it up. Everything looks brand new. You'll be able to see in the videos how it came in and the way it is now. So it will ride, it will definitely ride a lot better. Um, cool thing about these, you could adjust the height. You could set it pretty much to stock height with adjustable brackets. You could adjust the dampening on it, compression, rebound, uh, pretty much all around adjustability. So now he'll do it. Uh, since this thing has a floor on it, once they get on it, this thing's gonna handle a lot better be able to put down the power. You can see also the front brakes that we put on from Rotora. Those things added a very nice touch as well. Fills in the wheel. And that's pretty much it. But 